The nation's number five ranked pro style quarterback, Jake Garcia, has decommitted. from USC tonight. on Canes fans. Now listen up. I know that many of you are foaming at the mouth right now and understandably so. Trust me, my DMs have exploded over the last five or ten minutes. But let's head over to Twitter real quick and take a quick look at this. Take a step back. Everyone take a deep breath. Remain calm. And let's take a look at this statement from Jake Garcia. I want to thank Coach Helton, Coach Harrell, and Coach Doge and the USC coaching staff for the opportunity to play at the next level. However, after many discussions with my family and careful consideration, I am decommitting from USC. Doing so will allow me to honestly evaluate my options as the early signing date quickly approaches. No love has been lost for the USC family. Well, now listen, Jake. Uh, you're a cool guy and all. No love's been lost maybe from you to USC, but from USC fans to you, I, I, I can't speak for them, right? Now, we already know the backstory on Jake Garcia, the six foot two, 195 pound, four star recruit uh, from Los Angeles, California, been verbally committed to USC since September 2019. Uh, but Canes fans have wanted this guy bad. And Canes fans never really truly gave up on him, even after he verbally committed to USC. The guy couldn't post a single thing on social media, on uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, anywhere without uh, orange and green showing up everywhere. GIFs with Sebastian throwing up the U. Canes fans were really pushing for this guy. And we know that he's been playing football in the state of Georgia, and I realize that that puts him a little closer to the state of Florida, but I don't really think that that had any type of impact. We have to understand that with the pandemic going on with COVID-19 that that shut down any face-to-face -face recruiting. So I personally don't think that that necessarily played a part. What is interesting here though, however, is the fact that Jake Garcia did visit, as you all probably already know, the University of Miami multiple times. And we also know that Rhett Lashley has made it known that Jake Garcia is a big target for him in this recruiting class. And Jake Garcia has been interviewed multiple times and asked about how he feels when it comes to the Miami Hurricanes. And he said that, hey, I feel like the Miami Hurricanes are on fire right now. And he's a huge fan of Rhett Lashley and his offense. So here's the million dollar question. Will we land Jake Garcia? How do you feel about it? Canes fans, fans of opposing teams that are here on this channel, let it be known. Your prediction down in the comment section. Now, I'm not going to try to hide from it, okay? We all know that the early signing period is uh, very quickly approaching here in just a few weeks. I actually posted a video back in July saying that I do not think Jake Garcia will be a Miami Hurricane. I actually pretty much came down and said, hey, there's like a 5% chance that this happens. I'm not going to hide from it. But we also have to understand that... Um, the 2020 season got turned upside down, right? I mean, the world of college football got changed entirely this season, and recruiting was impacted as well. So we didn't really know all of these things were going to happen. Now, I'm not saying that that is necessarily what impacted it. Of course, USC has been pushing, recruiting some other quarterbacks, and there's been a lot of talks of potentially Jake Garcia decommitting from USC for quite some time. But I realized that uh, he's a huge fan of USC. He loves the school. He's been very vocal about that. So this probably would have taken a long time for him to make this decision. He's been committed there for a long time. But with all that being said, Jake Garcia has offers from more schools than I can go over in this video. It would just go on and on and on. Pretty much everybody wants him, including a lot of SEC schools and some big time schools at that. But 
The one other school, why am I holding up two fingers? The one other school that Jake Garcia has shown the most interest in other than USC is absolutely the University of Miami. So here we go. What's my prediction for this? Uh, as I said, I didn't hide from my earlier prediction, but things can change at a moment's notice, especially with everything going on this season with the pandemic and whatnot. So things have absolutely definitely changed here with the decommitment from USC. For me, it's, it, it, it's still too tough to say. I, I hate to be that guy that rides the fence, but I just don't know. I mean, I, I, I want to I, I wanna let it be known that I'm all for this. Trust me, Jake Garcia in that orange and green would be a perfect match with this Rhett Lashley offense. Can you imagine Jake Garcia becoming a Miami Hurricane? De'Eric King stays. Uh, you've still got Nikosi Perry. You've still got uh, TVD. Uh, now, Nikosi Perry, there's a lot of talks that he might transfer. That could potentially happen. This is, That's not what we're discussing in this video. I'm just saying we would have a, a pretty crazy stable full of great quarterbacks. And then we've also still got some really good running backs and things that will be returning. So this could be huge. I'm all for it. And I will be right there with you guys. As a matter of fact, you know what? Here, here. Let me just show you how on board I am with this. I don't want to seem like I'm being a, a negative Nancy here. Uh, look, <laughs> Gaines Cartel already in on it. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I even see some of you guys. Endo Gaines. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I told you. He can't escape it. And be, be that person, guys. Be that person that, that, that's spamming the orange and green hearts. Uh, the Sebastian the Sebastian gifts. I mean, they, they see this stuff. It does matter. And let me show you something. Let's see. Let me, let me see if I can find one. Um, let's see. Of course, we're going to throw the Sebastian in there. No, 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 no. Not, not, not that Sebastian. <laughs> I'm not going to edit it out, guys. We're rolling with it, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's find a good one. Let's find a good one. There we go. There we go. That's the one right there. Boom. I will do my part and show you guys that I'm 100% on this train. Jake Garcia to the U. I'm all for it. But, man, it's hard for me to come on here and make this prediction and say, yes, just due to the decommitment from USC that Jake Garcia is 100% all in to the U. Uh, I, I would love, I, I'm not saying no, okay? I, I, I'm riding the fence. Boom, I, I gotta say it. I just have to be upfront and honest with you guys. I gotta see a little something, something from Jake Garcia again to show that he is, in fact, interested in coming to the University of Miami. Again, as I said, we already talked about it. He He's visited Miami several times. I believe that was actually the last school that he did visit. It was an unofficial visit to the University of Miami back in 2019. So that's one of those, that would have been one of his lasting impressions, one of the last schools that he visited. But I need to see a little, a little something, something showing me that the interest is there and that he's considering it before I get too excited, if that makes sense. I've been let down so many times that I'm trying to... I, I'm trying to keep my hype level just just one notch down, just one notch down, okay? So please be excited about it, guys. It's huge because if he didn't decommit from USC, the opportunity, the option wouldn't even be there, right? So be hyped, be excited about it. Spam him on social media. Let's make him a Miami Hurricane. Let's do this thing. But for my official prediction, I just don't know, guys. I just don't know. Remember though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I gotta say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out.